We are getting started on building a 10,000 gallon earth bag cistern. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Terraform Homestead. This week, we are starting on a project that is four years in the making that will get us water sustainability out on our off-grid homestead. So what this means is we are going to be doing hyper adobe bags to basically create a sort of swimming pool over here that will come up about five feet, six feet tall and sink down a couple feet underground. And this is going to give us around 10,000 gallons of rainwater collection for our off-grid homestead at about a quarter of the cost of poly tanks that will also be a lot more long lasting and environmentally friendly than these big plastic behemoths. We have gotten our hole prepped and ready for earth bags. Basically, this hole was dug out a couple of years ago with the intention on putting in this rainwater cistern that we just never got around to. So uh, we finally got around to prepping our hole for our earth bags. So we got it all dug out and then we put about three inches of gravel down and then our plastic uh, vapor barrier. So what that's going to do is prevent any moisture from coming up from underground and damaging our bags, possibly cracking the cistern. So we don't want that. We also started getting some of our trench lines done. So you can see this is our workshop here and we are getting all the rainwater off of here We'll go underground and then back up into our tank. We also have let's see a little black line right there. So that is running from my house underground up into this tank currently. That will be redirected to here. And then we will also redirect off of our pump house into here. Long term, I want to get a shade cover for our bus to basically keep that a little bit cooler and also run rainwater underground and into here. But that's future project. That's probably next season project. got our first row down, which is very exciting. This ground level is going to take forever, but we did kind of follow this little curve just a little bit. I have to do less backfill, but we will kind of straighten it up once we get the walls going. So break for lunch and then back at it. up day one on this we got three thousand pounds worth of dirt these are about a thousand pounds a piece 20 foot long 18 inch bags that are four inches thick so calculate that by our cement which is 10 percent and 100 pounds so each cement bags basically a thousand pounds we're gonna crank on this for another half day tomorrow i'm guessing about eight weeks on this project to get the bag work done and then another roof fun fun everybody welcome to day two of this cistern build today i'm working on building a new dolly for our hyper adobe bags the dolly i built was meant for 16 to 18 inch bags and when we tried to use it on our 12 inch system our 12 inch bags just didn't really work very well wheels are too wide had a hard time balancing so i'm kind of doing more of a unicycle ish sort of thing we're gonna make a skinnier dolly so that way when we get to our 12 inch bags which we're gonna be using for the walls on that it'll work better
center post welded up. So basically this will go like this. We have some scrap metal here, um, some C channel that's going to sit, sit on top. So basically our bag will have a nice smooth surface. I'm going to be welding on some of this conduit right here. So that way we have a nice like lift instead of these sharp edges for the bag to get caught onto. Very important when you're welding galvanized stuff to wear a respirator because this will kill your lungs and you as a human will be dead. For our wheels, we have a couple of dead wheelbarrow tires. So I took the tires off. We don't, we're not going to be doing like a lot of moving on this. So these should work fine with the metal. A little handle guy. So all this has been scrap metal. I'm super excited. This is why I keep a junkyard so I don't have to buy things uh, when I need them. to test this guy out. I'm very excited. This is a couple hour build, but I think it'll be worth it for the ease of doing this 12 inch bag. So important things on doing a hyper Adobe dolly is making a nice smooth transition here. So I just cut these corners a little bit and have that nice and smooth so our bag does not catch. Also putting some duct tape over any exposed screws. Basically, you just don't want anything that that bag can possibly catch on because that makes things a nightmare. That we put some conduit over this, welded that up. Uh, so that's really nice and smooth transition. I also came in and grounded these guys down so there's no sharp edges. For our bucket attachment system, got an old bucket that had the bottom blown out of it and fully cut the bottom out. And then we can take our funnel you gotta use the funnel with the 12 inch buckets or the 12 inch bags. The 16 and 18, you can use the, use the double bucket system. That goes on right like that. And then our bags come down and make our thing. Another cool feature that I added that we did not have on our 16 and 18 inch bag dolly is a kickstand. Let's get this thing tried out. <laughs> Working a lot better than the other one. The big one? Yeah. All right, we have our foundation done and still can't get in and out of the hole. Got our lines marked out for our square. So the holes obviously dug not perfectly square because it's a giant backhoe. Got this line marked out. This is going to be our outer edge of our bag. So we'll come in 12 inches from that and then start getting up. So yeah, this is really exciting. This will all get backfilled as we kind of get higher and higher. And then once we get above ground, it will all be so much easier. So we're gonna start our verticals with 12 inch bags. Thank you all for joining us on the first episode of this Earthbag Cistern build. I am so excited to get one step closer to being fully self-sufficient and fully self-regulating out on our off-grid homestead here in Arizona. If you want to see more Earthbags type builds, I have a couple videos queued up for you right now that I think you'll enjoy. We have our first build ever on this property, a 10 by 10 underground root cellar made completely out of dirt as well as our Hyper Adobe Tiny Home, the house that we built to cut our teeth and learn a little bit about Hyper Adobe, get our systems in place and be able to do projects like this. So I got those videos queued up for you right now. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to check out our video next week. And thank you guys so much for watching. Go build something cool.